Do parts of your house have a hard time maintaining their temperature, especially upstairs? Well, you may need more attic insulation, and it's an easy thing to check. First of all, get on up in your attic, and while you're up there, be careful. Walk around on the tops of the joists and not in between, because if you step in between, you could fall through into the room below, and that's definitely a bad thing. Then you want to check how much insulation you have. You can use a ruler like this and just uh, check the depth. And then go to the energystar.gov website and use their insulation calculator to figure out how much more insulation you need. In my case, I can see the tops of the joists, so I know that we need more insulation up here. Attics are designed so that the air temperature in the attic is the same temperature as the outdoor air. Uh, so you want to make sure that you don't insulate against the back of the roof. All of it goes on the floor. So put on your safety gear and get started. In my case, I'm gonna use some unfaced bat insulation that I'll roll out perpendicular to the joist. And what that'll do for me is it'll not only insulate in the cavity, but it'll also insulate against heat loss through the joists. Cutting the insulation is a snap. I use a straight edge and I compress the insulation down and then I use a razor knife to slice through it a couple of times and get a nice clean cut. Now, while you're doing this, you want to be careful not to butt the insulation up against anything potentially hazardous, like a recessed lighting can or a flue or a masonry chimney. Also, you don't want to cover any of the soffit vents, which are vents that allow outside air in to circulate. The soffit vents are at the top of the wall where the roof meets the wall. You want to insulate every place else that you can, though, and you want to make sure there are no gaps. That'll about do it. You'll notice I haven't insulated back here over uh, what is an outdoor porch. You only have to insulate over conditioned spaces where you actually live, not places like porches or unheated garages. Insulating your attic will keep your indoor air temperature more consistent. It'll also reduce the load on your heating and cooling. It's a bit of a project, but it'll go a long way toward making your home more comfortable and efficient.